Hi everybody, this is my first of probably several videos that I will be posting on Schoology to give you some idea of what you should be doing during this extended spring break. First of all, I hope everybody is healthy and safe and having a wonderful St. Patrick's Day. Um, but what I want to point your attention to really right now is just what is in Schoology already to help you keep on top of AP US history. Because as far as I know, we still have a test in May and things will be a lot easier for you when we get back to school if you are not overwhelmed with a lot of information. So if you can learn the content, at least the basic ideas, while you're at home for period eight, which is the time period we're studying right now, it's 1945 through 1980, your life will be a lot less stressful when we get back to school. So if you've been looking in Schoology, you would have seen that I'm really trying to get the point across that you should be reading your AMSCO book. So if you don't have this book for some reason and you need some kind of other resource, please send me an email so I can help you because I'm really relying on you taking responsibility for your own learning right now. And the students who read their book all year always tend to do better on our assignments in class because there's just so much information that you need to process. So please read. You should be done with chapter 25, that's World War II, and you should be working on chapters 26, 27, and maybe a little bit of chapter 28 with um, John F. Kennedy and his role in the Cold War. So if you look into Schoology, you have a folder that says resources for March 16th through 10th. And all I have up here are just things that mostly you've seen before. So you have the period eight study guide, and you've seen that before. Mr. Bendick used to give those to you. And I really like these because they use the same language from the AP standards. Um, the way they describe events by, in these standards is how they tend to show up on multiple choice tests. So if you keep scrolling down, you'll see there's different examples for each of these topics that you should know. And so I really think that that is helpful but if that's not your style, you could also be looking at these reading guides. So I did not make these reading guides a wonderful AP history teacher somewhere else in the country makes them, but it would help you while you're reading to kind of be able to answer these questions. So either literally you are answering them or you're answering them in your head. That does tend to make reading more productive is to have some kind of guide for what you're looking for. Uh, the other thing I have in here is this updated World War II and Cold War review sheet um, because like I said when we come back from break you're going to have a lot of information that we need to process and so my hope is when we come back from break you have the content down and we can go ahead and do some high level activities with it like write essays and analyze primary sources so your goal while we're gone here is to be doing the activities I put into Schoology, which more will be coming, um, and those activities are intended to help you learn the content. So they'll be, you know, kind of easy self-check quizzes, um, activities to help you compare and contrast important things, maybe even some video lectures like you're seeing right now. And that way, when we come back from break, you know the information, and now we just have to put it all together and connect it. So please take advantage of this time. The good thing about history is that a lot of it can be learned through reading or watching videos. Um, I like Adam Norris's YouTube channel. He does a good job, if you have ever watched these videos, of going through the really important information. Oops. Um, about each time period and each topic as well. So if you have any questions, if you need anything at all, please don't hesitate to email me. I'm here, you know, in my house. So um, I can definitely help you as much as I can. And please, again, stay safe, stay healthy, and study your history.